Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Uh, today we are doing something that is going to take a while, but luckily through the power of editing, I can make it look <coughs> and it may not work, which generally you guys really, really like. So I'm gonna try and challenge myself more next year. So I'm sat on the sofa last night and Mrs. Barry uh, sends me a WhatsApp, even though she sat right next to me. We won't even talk about that, that's fine. We do tend to just sort of sit next to each other and send each other messages. <laughs> it's like. Hi, I'm right next to you. Um, she sent me this. This is from sugarhero.com. Snow globe cupcakes with gelatin bubbles. Okay. So effectively what we're trying to make is um, a cupcake with a snow globe on top. Okay. Snow globe. Snow globe. I don't know if this is going to work and it's going to take 24 hours to really properly make it, apparently. So I'm scrolling through here and the lady that's done these instructions, it's actually very, very detailed indeed. Uh, and all I can do is give it my best shot. And if it works, they are going to look amazing. I mean, look, look at that. That's, that's delicious. That looks so good. So let's do it. Step one apparently is to fill a bowl with ice water. I don't have ice water, but this tap this time of year, complete with my uh, mug that I didn't wash out <laughs> with coffee, uh, it's cold. Yeah, that is cold water. Yeah, I don't really have any ice water, so I'm just gonna stick an ice lolly in it. Maybe that'll make it cooler. Oh yeah, that's worked. Yeah, that has actually worked. Now this bit was actually insisted. These are uh, platinum grade leaf gelatin sheets, okay? Apparently there's like a gold grade and platinum grade, different grades, and apparently the platinum ones work best. Luckily in the store that I was in, this was the only one uh, that was available. Uh, so, and Dr. Utka generally worked pretty well. So apparently I need 12. It look like a deck of cards. One, two, 11, 12. All right, cool. So they're in there. I'll use those gelatin sheets for, well, if they fail. Uh, let's make sure they're nice and spread apart. Da, 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 da. Okay, so these are gonna sit in there and just soften for like 10 minutes. I'm still struggling to see how this is gonna be a bit like that, but we'll go with it, okay? Meanwhile, I'm gonna blow up a balloon. I actually bought a balloon pump as well for no reason. Oh. Oh, these are weird shaped balloons. Oh no. Oh no, that's not very good at all, is it? Okay. It's a bit too nipply, isn't it? Look. Oh no. Okay, okay, I can shape it. I can shape it, I think. <laughs> Look at that. It's a wonky. It looks like a golf club. <laughs> so basically that's all I'm gonna be doing now. <laughs> See, that would have been perfect. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? You know what, if it works, uh... <laughs> I tell you what, that's a good one. I am well happy with that. It's fair to say I've got um, quite a selection <laughs> of um, balloon sizes. Uh, we're just gonna go with it and see what happens, okay? So the gelatin has soaked for 10 minutes, which is good. We now need to drain it off. So we now grab the gelatin sheets. Oh, they are so soft now. And what we do is we just squeeze out any excess water back into the bowl underneath it. So you've literally just got a pretty much wet, floppy flannel gelatin sheet. Put it in a saucepan. So just do that with all of your sheets, all 12 of them. Yeah. There we go. One good old pan of gelatin -y sheets. Before we cook up uh, the gelatin, we need to get our balloons ready. This is gonna help us. And so is this, because it might get messy. We also need bamboo skewers and tape. <laughs> this one's gone right down. No, that was my favorite one. We're gonna stand it in there and we're gonna tape a bamboo skewer and the balloon together as one. Like that. <laughs> oh, look, I'm fishing. <laughs> I just wanna try it on as a bit of a hat now. All right, so our wrung out gelatin sheets uh, go onto a hob in the pan and we add three tablespoons of water, of water. I said that twice. <laughs> 
Swirling occasionally until the gelatin is melted. This might take a little time. Alrighty, that is pretty much there, but we're not warming it through. It's just, as you can see, it's all sort of disappeared. That's exactly what we want it to be like. So all I'm doing is getting my, uh, my balloon and I'm brushing it all over. I've lightly greased the balloons as well, very, very lightly. It's gone quite glossy. I've covered the whole area, but what we want to do is leave it to go a little bit tacky and then do another layer. So if you had a, a big enough bowl to dunk, you just basically coat it, let it set for a bit, dunk it again. I'm going to pour some on. Ah, oh. oh, that's much better. Oh my gosh. And then brush some up from the sides. Um, I'm not very hopeful about this at all, to be honest. Once you get it in here, it firms up so quickly, so you want to reheat it. It wouldn't pour back into the pan, so I microwave this, this, put this back on the pan, and now it's nice and loose again. See that? <laughs> that looks horrendous. <laughs> I'm not gonna let this beat me yet. I'm gonna go and get some more gelatin. Just got back from the shop with uh, more balloons and <laughs> more gelatin. I'm gonna double it up. You don't need to see this step, so I'm just gonna double it up. Look, this stuff <laughs> is so strong. Right, this time, skewer is going into there. And we're gonna tape it actually on the, the nubbin bit. Let's do it. All right, so here's what they do on that video, okay? So we've got the gelatin here. Um, I've lightly greased the balloon and they kind of just dunked the whole thing in. Swirled it round in one coat whilst it was warm. That is it, kind of let it drip. This feels a lot better, I've got to be honest. And then just stick it in your colander. Ooh. There you go. So I'm gonna do that with my other ones. We let that set for a little bit and dunk it again. That was what I should have done earlier. All right, it's time for our second dunk. Uh, and I can feel it's a little tacky actually. This is good. Uh, so I've warmed up the, the filling again, the, the gelatin. Uh, just swirl it all around again. So I'm gonna shove it in there. And I'm just gonna let it, yeah, let it rest. Good news is I think I've done them. Bad news, uh, we've got to leave them for 24 hours at room temperature. So um, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, as I left the barn earlier, I squeezed the uh, balloons and it felt like firm around the outside where the gelatin, I think, has gone solid. So uh, I've just quickly chucked together some uh, chocolate cupcakes, uh, taste tested one, you know, just to make sure they are edible and boy, they're good. So we'll take them with us in the morning and see if it works. All right, guys. Um, so I've literally just walked in to the barn. It's 8 a.m. I've got my cupcakes here. I don't think it's worked. <laughs> um, well, I think it has, but I think it hasn't. See, what's happened is some of the air has come out of the balloons and I think it's crumpled it, but the moisture does seem to have gone out of it. It has gone hard and there are a couple, well actually three, one, two, three, like these feel okay. So we're gonna carry on with it. I'm scared, I'll be really upset if it doesn't work, but hey, I'll put the video up anyway. All right, so I'm gonna pick up one of the rubbish ones uh, just to show you. See the balloons come away from it, but that is actually gelatin. I think the balloons just, just had it, it's given up, so. Um, Oh no. Well, that doesn't bode very well. <laughs> oh no. I did grease them. I greased them really well. Oh, this one would have been perfect as well. I mean, that's the annoying thing. They have worked, but they're just not coming off. So, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna rush to put this video up. I'm gonna go back and get some more gelatin and balloons.
All right then, folks. Uh, some of these haven't gone to plan. There's some like, look, there's a big bogey hanging off of this one. Out of all of them, this is possibly the best one. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna edit this right now, you, and then we'll just jump to this at the end and just see if we can set it off like maybe five hours instead of overnight. All right, so I've just uh, finished editing the video, literally up to the point that you've just seen, and uh, I'm looking over and I can see in the distance some balloons hanging <laughs> right over there. I'm thinking, no, no, please work. I don't think it's gonna work because I just, I'm just done with this now. This one. Uh, <gasps> it's only been an hour. Ah, oh my gosh. It's wet still, it's not dried enough, it's not firmed up, but this was my like pretend rubbish one. Look, you see? That's actually not too bad. <sighs> hey? Hey, 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 look, look at this. <gasps> look! <laughs> it's just... No. The, the top of it here, where all the gelatin's just formed and it's got that little teat on it, it's so heavy. Um, I'm gonna try and trim it. Let me get a cupcake in a minute. I'm not even gonna say what I think that is. Um, that's, that's too heavy. See, it's supposed to sit like that. I've got another one to try as well, another rubbish one. <laughs> uh. Oh. See, it's, it's papery and that was much more transparent. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, um, I was planning on leaving this a little bit longer, but one of them I just spotted. I think the balloon has kind of got a small hole in it and it kind of deflated. Now this was my worst one out of the batch. Oh, <gasps> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I can't get it out again. <laughs> At least I can do this with it. Oh my God. <gasps> no. It's coming away. Yes. Yes. <gasps> yes. That that is that is so much better. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's too floppy. So because that balloon. Uh, was that's been like two and a half hours. It's too heavy. It's just like going like that I'm not letting it beat me. I've come home and we're making some more right Got the whole family involved <laughs> Yeah, you guys will help me. We're gonna do this Good morning everyone. It's day three Let's give this a try dogs are here down there for emotional support. Oh my gosh. That is well firm. Let's try it. Just for reference, the backup one I had that looks a little bit like a swim cap uh, is still very, very wet. But the other one that kind of flopped off, that has gone crispy. So um, it does dry out eventually, but this has been almost 24 hours. All right, okay. The balloon's not coming away. I'm gonna have to get right into it. It's happened again. I greased these, oh, oh my gosh. The balloon is coming away. Oh, look, if I push it, I have to get a little bit weird with it. Oh, look, it's working. It's, it's, you're working. I actually dreamt about this last night, no joke. I was dreaming about gelatin balloons. Pretty sure I'm not the first person to have done that. Come on. Oh, just have slap. Yes! Can it? Can you see? Ooh. No! Don't don't break! Don't break! <gasps> that sort of worked. Look, I can put my hands in it. I'm done. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Change my lens. Let's just do a quick uh, reminder of where we've been. Uh, we started with many pop balloons and a saggy mess like that. 
Then the uh, swim cap cake, which isn't too bad. Uh, I would have actually finished the video and done that, but we got better. And it's like jelly, because it is jelly. But then we finished with an actual snow globe. So let's stick it on our cupcake. So in comes our uh, semi-frosted cupcake. Uh, looks like icing a little bit, but what I liked is that you can add some coconut on top to make it look a lot more snowy. So I'm gonna really cake it in that. Yeah, snow. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for the solitary Christmas tree in the middle using the icing to grip it. And then the icing will grip the snow dome. <laughs> look, it's a bit misty in there, but I'm gonna take that. It's a bit off to one side as well, isn't it? There we go. I actually had another one from home. Uh, these are the ones that we made there, but it's a little bit more misty. I prefer this one, but let's not, um, you know, let's not go a bit overboard there. Let's compare it to that. So um, I'm happy. So of course the uh, benefit is supposed to be that this is edible, but it is just basically a sheet of gelatin. bit papery. In conclusion then, don't try this. Well, maybe you should. Um, I actually really enjoyed taking on a project. So if there's any other cool project ideas you've seen, maybe on Pinterest or whatever, let me know down below. But I have an internet cooking show to run. I need to move on to my next video. If I had more time, I'd try and work hard to get it even more clearer. But compared to how it was last night, I'm not dreaming about these anymore. I am satisfied that we've accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. Full credit to the website Mrs. Barry found is in the description uh, down below, but that is it. Don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun, and I'll see you again next time.